Petroleum Authority, the National Petroleum Authority, that's NPA, says the target of gold for oil policy accounting for 50% of the petroleum needs of the country will be met by the end of March. The country has so far received five different consignments under the policy, with two more expected by the end of March. In the following report, City News' Hans Najiman assesses the impact of the policy so far. 2022, arguably, was a dreadful year for Ghanaians. Household incomes dwindled significantly as cost of living soared. Central to the challenges that plagued the Ghanaian economy was the skyrocketing fuel prices, a commodity that began the first quarter of 2022 at six Ghana cities at a point in the same year was twice more than the general price. Many Ghanaians asked for the government's intervention. In response, the gold for oil policy was instituted. The policy design mandates the precious minerals marketing company to buy gold from small-scale gold traders and exporters, make it available to the Bank of Ghana, who then purchases oil with the gold directly or liquidates the gold into a foreign currency, which is then used to purchase the oil. The oil is then given to Bost and the Ghana Oil Company Limited, who then sell it to the oil marketing companies. The policy is aimed at primarily reducing prices at the pumps and reducing the pressure on the city due to demand for dollars. The PMMC, who has to make the gold available, says about five tons of gold have so far been channeled to the Bank of Ghana for the policy since its implementation in January. We are looking at close to about five tons of gold that has been uh, procured so far between January and February. Uh, what it is is that for January there was a late delay in implementation because uh, the stakeholder engagement were ongoing. Uh, they had raised certain issues which needed to be resolved before implementation started. The five tons of gold according to the National Petroleum Authority has been used to ship five different consignments of petroleum products with two more consignments expected at the end of March 2023. The policy, as you are aware, the program began in January of this year. Um, in January, we received the first cargo, uh, which was about 40,000 metric tons of diesel. Um, the, um, that was the beginning. In February, in the month of February, we actually received and discharged two, two vessels, um, one petrol um, cargo and then one diesel cargo. That was in February. And this month of March, we've already received two vessels that have discharged. One petrol has discharged, one diesel has discharged. As we speak, we have another um, dis, uh, dis, um, petrol cargo which is at Anchorage that's arrived in the country awaiting discharge. Um, the next, the fourth cargo for this month is expected to uh, arrive on the 19th of, um, of this month. This, however, accounts for only 22% of the fuel demands at the pump. This is according to the association of all your marketing companies. We have not been having enough fuel for everybody because you remember the percentage to the total uh, output is not that much. So obviously not everybody can get it as I speak. If we have to speak right now, the what has been um, supplied so far constitutes just about 22% of um, the market. The government, however, says the dividends of the policy are already been felt by Ghanaians. Prices of products have been recording a marginal reduction in the first quarter of 2023. Even though petrol, for instance, saw a steady rise from 12 cities 40 pesos per litre in January to 15.25 per litre in February, the commodity has recorded a marginal drop with fuel selling as of March 17 for 12 cities 95 pesos per litre. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia says the drop is as a result of the gold for oil policy. But critics say that falling global prices is rather the cause. We have said from all publications that the declines in prices is simply as a result of global trends, where the demand currently is not as high, yet production numbers are still high, aviation systems are not as busy as they were two, three months back when during Christmas people are traveling all over the world. The National Petroleum Authority, on the other hand, believes the impact of gold for oil cannot be overlooked as products sourced through the program are cheaper than other sources. From the first time, the first cargo that arrived, there was a huge um, 
disparity between the gold for oil price and the market prices, and that's what made the OMCs drop their price. If you remember very well, gold at a point dropped their diesel price from 15.9 CDs to 15.25 CDs, and that was because they had loaded their gold for oil consignment. And another impact we've seen is that since the program started, it has forced the market to also move the market price to move closer to the gold for oil price. The Association for Oil Marketing Companies, however, believes that timing for assessing the impact of the policy is not appropriate. According to the association, a fair assessment is dependent on the policy meeting 50% of the petroleum needs at the pumps. The only thing is that now the G4 is at just about almost 22%, 23% of the uh, cargo or the tonnage that we are supposed to consume. So obviously the, the impact is not so glaring like if we were to get about 50% of it being there. So, but yes, though, there's an impact. There's you know, some amount of impact. The National Petroleum Authority has assured that the target of the policy accounting for 50% of the needs of the market will be achieved at the end of March. Yes, so actually the program, the objective was to meet 50% of, of, our, of our consumption per month while the remaining 50% will be imported by the bulk import distribution and export companies. So that's the objective. And I think with the volumes that have come in this month, it means actually when the program began, the objective or the plan was that by March we should have met that target of 50% of imports meeting our demands per month, and that's where we have gotten to. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia also believes the good for oil policy is the single most important policy instituted to address foreign exchange challenges. The vice president says the city has been stable in the first quarter of 2023 due to a good for oil policy. But how has the city performed in relation to major currencies? Courage Bati is a currency analyst. To be honest, we uh, at some point last year, we got to even 16 cities, 15 cities. And those were the, the terrible periods of late November, early December, where we got to, and we haven't hit any of such levels so far. So if we did 15, 16 at some point, and now the highest we recorded so far this year, I think is about 13 CD, 20 pesos to a dollar. Uh, that is um, relatively much better performance than, than, than we saw previously. For the National Petroleum Authority and the Association of Oil Marketing Companies, the policy has reduced the demand for dollars in the operation of oil marketing and distribution companies. The dollar that we would have needed to pay for this 50% of the product that is coming from bus now, is coming from gold purchases. So previously, if you were getting this almost $200 million that is needed per month to pay for gold in, uh, oil import, and now you are getting about 50% from the gold purchases, that means that you have taken that pressure off BOG, which was supposed to supply, or the normal market which was supposed to supply this $100 million. So clearly it has brought some stability. These debates have rekindled conversations on whether the policy should be scrapped or maintained. The Chamber for Petroleum Consumers wants the government to replace the policy with a new arrangement where BOST rather purchases and stores petroleum products to be used in times of market instability. But the National Petroleum Authority says BOST lacks the capacity to carry out the mandate required. A major criticism against the policy has been the availability of gold for its continuous implementation. The precious minerals marketing company has however assured of policies to ensure sustainable supply of gold. It is important that PMMC establishes a presence within these gold mining communities. And for that reason, what we did was to um, identify hotspots or gold um, centers, aggregation centers for this purpose. And so as we speak, um, PMMC has opened its first ever branch in Kumasi to be able to take care of the implementation of this program. The next branch that has been opened is Takwa. While some stakeholders continue to be skeptical about the impact of the good for oil policy and lament about the lack of transparency in the policy, government players like the NPA, the PMMC, are certain of the good for oil policy being a game changer in petroleum pricing in the country. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.